Hey everyone, welcome to part two of the 360 degree turret rotation mod for RASP. Um, as you can see, I've now, well, there's my slip ring. Uh, in part one of the video, I showed you all the connections here that connect up to ASP. And uh, what I was waiting for was the arrival of one of these boards. Okay, I, I, I thought it would be best just to make up a small PCB. Now, um, so I make these PCBs available really cheaply on, on, on the website eventually. Uh, probably best for you, they'll come unassembled. Uh, and you add whatever parts you want on there. That would probably be the best way to do things because, again, uh, everyone's tanks are different. Um, so, very simple. There's nothing to this. Just uh, connect up the pieces and, and away you go. Uh, and I've got one connected up here. Okay, this is one ooh, I've done here with uh, all the, the connections on. Now, oh, it's a bit, bit hard to see, but... Uh, I probably did, I didn't think about this before I did the video. Um, basically, you've got a 12-way slip ring, okay, and you will uh, all the, it's labelled across here all of the um, the wires. You won't be able to see it on the video, but it is. Uh, so you just uh, solder the corresponding wires to the pads on on the board there. I've made it so that you can either hot glue or come up with some sort of strip to hold those pads down in place so you can't they won't pull off so it's, it's pretty rigid and some extra um, holes there it's not very clear this is probably going what a stupid video this is but anyway you probably will most of you should be able to get what's going on here we've got um, 12 wires on the slip ring but actually we need close to 20 different outputs so this board splits off those 12 to give us the 20 pins that we need to fire up all the things that are in our uh, turret. So as I said, here's one I've got all set up. Um, I don't have a flash in this scale barrel, so I've just attached a flash here. Um, this is a uh, Tark Panzer that I'm, I'm slowly doing up. It's got, um, it, it's got inside, I'm gonna just flip it over, uh, servo recoil. And it's also servo for the elevation. I haven't, obviously, it's all about 360 degree, but I haven't done the um, slip ring, I mean, sorry, the uh, turret ring for that yet. So, let's just see if it's all working. Let's turn our ASP on. Now, what I plan to do, or we've got your slip ring here. I'm thinking about mounting that in there okay so I mean all of you will have different place for your slip ring and then this um, this actual board would be inside the turret again why I'll come all assembled is disassemble is because you probably would want to you know shorten some of these leads maybe wire these leads directly to the to the unit there but does it all work well let's have a look okay first thing we should do is maybe well let's have a look at the elevation now the elevation all controlled by the radio and for the slip ring it plugs into channel 8 so let's have a look at some elevation here now I think the uh, servo elevation you get with the uh, tanker 9x is you know, you've got full control. It, 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 it is awesome. Um, I can say that because I didn't do it. The mix there is provided by Mike Blanford. So um, it's one of the best things about the 9X and Tanker. Um, you don't need any servo stuff on your board. You can run your servos directly from your receiver. Okay, so that's your servo elevation. Let's have a look at the machine gun. For some silly reason, I've got a white LED in there. So that's all fine. Uh, as I said with our cannon, I don't have a LED in the barrel, so I've just stuck a flash unit there for you, And but we do have recoil, so let's have a look at the cannon. So we have our, our recoil servo operating fine and our cannon. And of course, our hammerhead unit there, you just saw it flash. 
And just to make sure that's all working, we'll, we'll send a status re- update request. Status update requested. There we go. So we got all the functions working there with our 360 degree uh, slip ring. So um, yeah, just a matter of um, neatening up some of these wires and installing it all inside. But uh, yes, so if you're interested in 360 degree for your ASP, probably get onto one of these boards. I'm going to make these available uh, like for, for less than 10 bucks on the website with free shipping. So uh, everyone can grab one if you want one. There's only a couple around at the moment. Uh, after the Christmas holidays, probably really get and see how demand goes. We'll get back to, to making some of those. A uh, bit more instructions to on the website. But that's uh, your 360 degree. Uh, why am I saying R so much? 360 degree chart rotation mod for ASP. Thank you.